Hi guys, Cam here from Little Diggers. In a moment we're going to run over how to operate an auger or a post hole digger on a JCB mini excavator. Now, as you can see, the auger comes in three parts. You've got the auger shaft itself, the drive, meaning the mechanical part, and the attachment to the machine. And you can do it two ways. If you have a friend with you, you can first of all hook everything up, but leave the, the post hole digger off. Get the drive to a vertical position. So this shaft here on the ground is, is vertical, but you have to get a friend to hold the, the post hole digger upwards and then drop the shaft into it. But it takes two people to do that. So we're gonna do it another way. And we're gonna hook these up first. So that just hooks on there like so. And just drop this pin. in the hole, clip it on, now as well as that we have to make sure these hoses are facing in an upward position, there's quite a bit of weight in this auger drive and if it is rotated around the other way and the hoses are on the ground you can damage them. So we'll put this on first which is pretty simple. Just pop that on there, get this little red pin, pop it in the hole on the front of the hitch, push it down, and then that clips on. And just pop this pin into that little hole there for safety. Now, we're ready to hook this up to the end of the drive. Making sure your hoses are clear. Lift that up so the holes line up, pop this pin through. and then clip it on. Okay, now that that's on, we'll lift the post hole digger up. Once the auger is hooked up to the hitch, you'll wanna hook your hoses up, but before you do that, you have to depressurize these lines because there's always going to be a lot of hydraulic fluid build up in these, which is going to make it hard to push these on. And if you do, you'll also damage the seals inside, inside the, uh, the fittings. So we'll depressurize those lines. To do that, you just turn the machine to the on position without starting it. Drop this lever. Activate your joysticks and your auxiliaries and push the pedals and just push your joysticks from side to side as well. This left pedal over here is your, is your, controls your auxiliaries and if you push that, that'll, that'll release it. 
So that should be good to go. Just make sure you have a rag on you to wipe these fittings clean. So if they get any dirt in them, it will also interfere with the seal and, uh, and cause you some hydraulic leaks. And it'll, it could even cause the hydraulic tank to, uh, to empty on you. So give, them, give both fittings a wipe. And clip it on like so. Now, if it's too difficult to push on, generally there's still a buildup in these lines and you haven't quite released the pressure enough. So again, it's been sitting in the dirt, so give it a good wipe. Either end. And uh, should just clip in like that. And then just double check everything's hooked up properly. Looks pretty good. And now we're right to dig a hole. get that to a vertical position and then if you want to drill downwards you want to push the left side of the of this left pedal over here and slowly work your machine your boom into the ground like so and then up you go 